What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Um, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Maverick. Um, I like to live in the back of my truck sometimes. You guys are curious how I built this setup. Um, I actually have another video explaining all that. But what I'm going to be learning today and trying to teach you guys is how to build a DIY solar shower. So when I'm on the road for the next three weeks, um, obviously I'm gonna get pretty stinky if I don't shower. So I can either do one of two things. I can get a gym membership, which is gonna cost money, and I don't wanna get swole. I like, I like the way I am. So the only other option I have is I can either jump in lakes and rivers around there, but you know, sometimes water's not clean and it's pretty cold. I don't know, doesn't sound like a great option either. So the third option is I build myself a shower. So what I have today is I got some four inch PVC pipe. I've seen a couple other videos on YouTube and um, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step. If you guys wanna do this at home, it's gonna cost you around 80 bucks, 90 bucks to do, um, but you will have a five gallon tank of water on top of your car. So now I can use this as drinking water. I can use this to wash myself off. I can use this to wash dishes off. I can use this to wash my truck off. So it's not just a shower. It's more of like a mobile cleaning station. Let's get into it. Um, I'll go through the parts right now. I just went to the hardware store and I picked up a bunch of parts, so uh, let's get those out of the bag and show you what, what we got. All right, well, I don't have like a fancy PVC vise or anything, so uh, I guess mom's bench will, mom's bench will do. All right, so after messing around with this thing for about like a half hour, um, I figured out, I found out what you need to do is you need to take your drill bit like this. Um, I just chose, I don't even know what size drill bit that is, but it's a pretty big one. Fit right through the center hole, and then there's a set screw on the bottom there that you're supposed to tighten around it, so hopefully this will work. Really? Just, oh, please. I didn't want to know if this hole's gonna look like when I'm done. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Well guys, this is uh, turning into how not to build a shower. <laughs> oh my. You can't make these things up. Wow, do I feel dumb today. Um, I guess this kind of can happen when you're inexperienced doing stuff like this. I told the clerk today at the hardware store that I had no idea what I was doing with plumbing and I really don't have any idea what I'm doing with plumbing. Um, that's a dumb mistake. I bought four inch caps for a four inch tube. So those aren't gonna fit. I bought a hole saw that didn't work. Really? And filled it in with caulk, which I'm not really sure how it's gonna work when it's pressurized. I also put my air pressure valve too close to my spout so I couldn't twist the handle so I'm gonna go ahead and try this again tomorrow um it's just scratch today today didn't happen oh maverick that sucks all right so the next day I headed out to this hardware store uh, I decided to say heck with the uh, drilling the holes and I just decided to get fittings that would uh, make more sense. So I got this little T fitting here, and then I found this little grommet that fit in with it. Um, I don't really know the names for these things, but I found screw caps for both of them, and then I headed right back to my house. And this time I made sure I got the right fitting end caps. Um, yeah, it was it was a little embarrassing yesterday to myself and to other people that uh, I got the wrong size. So the very first thing I checked when I got back home actually was the size of the caps. Um, I looked at my old ones, and then I said, hey, let's try these new ones on. Boom, fit like a glove. Absolutely loved it. So, as soon as I saw that those fit, I made sure that the distance with the new fittings would be good. Um, and kind of started debating what I should do about my ugly hack job from the other day. Uh, I decided that I was going to cut it off, so I brought the PVC outside. I uh, got a hacksaw and cut through 
my PVC, which was a lot harder, by the way, than I thought it was gonna be. Um, kudos to anybody out there that deals with cutting PVC every day. This stuff was not easy. Actually, I think it took me close to half an hour to do, so. Um, yeah, I switched from, I switched to a smaller bladed saw in the middle just because uh, that big bladed saw like kept catching and I don't know what the heck was going on, but whatever. Next, I uh, placed my bolts just so that I had enough clearance just to get over the PVC. Uh, this is my locking nut in the back that holds my faucet on, which I also got a new faucet because it, it was hitting. So I got a new faucet, I got a new bolt, and uh, I got a new air valve. So here I'm just drilling out the holes. And of course, I got a big one. Oh, that was good. Good job. What's to make a boo-boo better though than a nice little band-aid, but not just a band-aid, a Snoopy Peanuts band-aid, the Flying Ace. Amazing. Good as new. All right, let's get back to work. All right, so after I got my band-aids on, I made sure that my nozzle fit, and then I thought it was time to uh, start cementing up my connections. So what I'm doing here is this is PVC primer. You put this stuff on before you put your cement on. Um, really not sure why, but apparently it gives it a better connection. So you'll see me use this crazy purple stuff a few times in this video and uh, that's what it does so I put the end cap on first uh, made sure that my nozzle and my air hose weren't gonna touch and pushed it on as tight as possible after that was all set up I decided that it would be a good time to get the other side going so uh, did the same thing on the other side Now I could have glued the connection between the twist top and the PVC pipe there, but I didn't want to just in case I wanted to drain out the water at some point. I thought it would be easier just to have that threaded, which was problematic later, but we'll get to that. So I ordered some foam from Amazon that would hold a kayak on top of my truck, but I thought it would be good to be able to cut that down to size. So it came in like 18 inch pieces, which is huge. So I decided to trace out the PVC pipe so I could fit my, uh, my new shower on it. Again, I just cut it out with a hacksaw. Not very pretty, but I cleaned it up with a lighter at the end just to make the surface look a little more smooth. Um, don't breathe the smoke in, folks. It's not good for you. Wear a mask or something. And then all of my parts were done. Um, all that was left to do is just to make it look nice. So I added a nice flat black spray. I think this is like a Rust-Oleum primer. Um, it turned out really nice. It's like an actual matte black. I haven't found a matte black paint that I like a lot yet. And this was seriously perfect for PVC. So if you guys are looking for it, I think it's like 2X or something. Try it out. All right, folks. And there it is. She's all mounted up. Um leaking a little bit of water so I might put some Teflon tape on there but it's all full of water it's been sitting in there for about four hours and uh, I got it ratchet strapped up here I think I'm gonna use uh what are they called cam tie downs so that I don't have big hooks and big buckles rattling on the top but looks good so I ended up getting a six foot garden hose and a uh, just a spare little nozzle there that I had laying around the house I haven't pressurized it yet, so let's go ahead and try that out. I guess that's the moment of truth to see if this thing's actually gonna work or not. I mean, it's all fine and dandy, it's just holding water, but as soon as I put pressure in there, it might might blow some seals, but we'll see. I actually ended up getting a small little air compressor, a little mini air compressor. It's made by Cobalt. I don't really know that brand, but it was like 30 bucks at Lowe's, and uh, I can run it off my my battery in the back of the truck, so. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this thing tested out and see if it see if it works, see if it works or see if it leaks. Well, I just got down from the, on top of the truck and the uh, the air compression isn't holding. So I saw at the at the front it was leaking where the uh, twist caps go on. So I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on those two things and. Um, hopefully I can get my PSI up. Now I am supposed to be running this at about 30 PSI and it was only getting up to about 3 so that's not a lot. So I'm going to check all my connections, make sure that 
everything's good, Teflon tape them up, and then I guess the rest will be history. Well, we got a couple leaks right here. This one. It's like the silicone didn't dry there, and then the front cap. But I'm gonna keep running the uh, the air pressure thing, and then I'm gonna take the first shower with it. Just because I gotta drain the water anyway to change out that front cap. So. All right, well, I haven't showered yet today, as you may or may not be able to tell, so uh, I guess this is well needed. Well, all right, I guess I'd consider that a success. Um, I'm gonna patch up those couple holes, but <laughs> I'm at least able to get a couple minute shower out of that. So the water was pretty warm compared to what I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's definitely long enough for me to get at least a minute shower out of it, but yeah, I'm gonna patch those holes up and uh, I wanna be able to not worry about water leaking out of it. I mean, there's really no point in having a big long tank like that that holds 10 gallons if it's not actually gonna hold 10 gallons when you're showering. Probably wasted about half of my half of my water just on that. So I don't know. Hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. Don't don't ever give up on a project, no matter how aggravated you are. Um, I know this project absolutely tested me to my limits. Whether it was not being able to find the right product, getting the wrong information, or um, or just feeling like I couldn't do it. Um, I've never done a plumbing project like like this. I haven't done that many DIY things. So. Um, I don't know, just get out there and try it. You're never gonna get any better unless you actually get out there and try it. So so thank you guys again so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Um, I guess the next time you see me, I'm gonna be on the road. I'm, I'm, for those of you that haven't seen my last episode, I am going to California, um, working my way out west, um, going up to Washington, then down to Northern California, and then back to Minnesota, uh, living out of my truck for about three weeks. So if you guys uh, wanna subscribe to that, <laughs> feel free to do so down below. Hit that notification bell, give this video a like if you liked it. Um, but other than that, I mean, all that's left to say is thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.